Hi everyone, now I'm going to be tying a fly called the Daddy Snatcher. Now, basically there's a crane fly or Daddy Long Legs. Now, it's a, it's a big fly, but in international competitions it becomes an issue because it's actually the, in the rules, you just you can't get the fly uh, the natural size, but you can try and give an impression of that fly. Now this pattern works, gives you that impression. Now the reason I'm using the, like this is a super grub, uh, it's a basically full and mill hook, it's a size 10, you could even go slightly bigger because it will fit within, excuse me, into the, the car quite easily, it's a size 10, it's a big hook, but it gives you a longer shank to give the impression of a longer body. Uh, and the snatcher style is usually tied on like a curved bike hook like this. So it's that's why the combination between the daddy long leg and the snatcher, that's why the name comes in. But it was a, it's a very good fly. Now uh, you could use a, I mean to tie the thread or tie the thread of the fly, you could use black, brown, even uh, this is a rusty brown. Uh, you could do whatever you like, even redhead. Redhead's quite good. Uh, so it, it, it works really well. Now can you notice know, I might tie it with the redhead just to show you, because it's a good aiming point. So what I've got is the Uni Thread 8O in red. Now the body colour can change as well. Now I'm using the natural uh, pheasant tail. You could use dyed, bleached, you could use orange is good. Uh, olive is another good colour, even black. I mean you can do what you like. But I'm going to stick close to the, the original dressing. Now rib, I'm going to use a fine gold wire. It could be copper. You could even need the coloured wire. Again you could mess about with the colour. Best to tighten the way down, it's much easier and quicker as well. So we work our way around, give yourself as much as you can get without interfering with the, the bend of the hook too much. Natural pheasant tail, this is uh, the brown cock pheasant tail. You want a good few fibres just to, I mean I don't know how many is there, a good half dozen plus. So basically what I do is loop a thread, turn around the base of the fibre, pull it into the tips. Now that's as far as I'm going to get because there is a couple broken there. So if I go too far, I'll lose them. So I'll just stop at this. I'm just going to trim away some of these fibres. And then I'm going to work my way up. You can see it's, it's quite a long body. It's, it's given the impression of the length. Now you want to basically give yourself a good head length for the, the wing and the hackle at the front. So. Pheasant tail, it's a weak, it's a weak fibre, so I'm going to wind it towards myself and away from the normal, I wind away from myself. But so when I bring the rib up, it goes with the, th the thread turns and it will protect both the, the body and the hackle when I wind it up. So what I do here, I've, because I'm winding towards myself, I'm basically counter winding to the thread, so I have to lock that turn in. So basically I come over with a turn and a turn on the hook, do the same again, again. And again, just to make sure it's not going to move. They say what's going to protect it is me winding the, the wire up in the normal way, same way as I wind my thread. Hackle, I'm using, this is a furnace saddle I've got. It's just a fine black centre on it. Now I usually try and keep the hackle fibre within the bend to keep that snatcher-like style. So we just catch this on. We have a wax on my thread. It's fine. And then what I'm going to do is do a straight turn at the top and then wind down. That's three into the fourth turn. Now as I come round into the fourth turn, I come round with a wire ready at the back, which is going to protect the back of the, the body, catch in my, my hackle. So now what I'm doing is obviously with the wire is protecting the body and holding the hackle. So wind all the way up. Pull back the fibre here, straight up with the turn, by 90 degree bend into the wire, which will lock in those turns. The base it doesn't pull back, it doesn't loosen. Uh, if you stretch it with the same way you wind your thread, chances are you, you'll throw a slack turn in there, so if you bend the wire it will lock it. Come away, or break away as I normally sometimes do uh, the hackle. Secure in your wire and bend and break away. See so yeah, the the hackle's sitting. 
Now you can put that on as light as you as you want, as, or as heavy as you like. You could mess about with that. Now uh, pheasant tails, well, it's getting a bit short. Uh, these pheasant tails, so I died. Uh, sorry, tied some of these myself. One, two, three. I need six. And three either side of the body, or just basically lay them on the sides in a way, just to give the impression of the legs. Now, as I say, you've got to be careful with the length of your fly when you're fishing the international real fish uh, competitions. So what I'm going to do here is going to catch this on, two or three turns, position the legs where you like, get your card, this is what you do, so obviously check, you're within the rules, so you take Put the eye right to that point there, all the legs just fit in, so that's perfect. And then we can trim away. Wax my thread, and then put my wing on. I'm just using some badger, this is a creamy, it's a, it's a nice badger hackle. You could use cree, I've, I've used many hackles, even white, white works. So, give the impression of the wing. You can just basically to the back of the hook, but not you don't want it too long. You want to base it within the legs. You can make a space now. I'm just going to make a space here. Throw away what I don't need. Still get some of the fibre. I'm going to tie on some of the fibre as well. Just check my length. Go over a couple of turns. Just check. And then what I can do is separate them. So I'll get the, the wings separate it. I can encourage that by just doing a figure eight through them. So I'll just bring them out. So I just do a turn on my side, turn the far side, cut a couple of turns in front. That basically locks them in. Trim away the waist, and then tidy up. Now for the hackle I'm going to be using one of these hackles. I'm going to use the dark brown. This is just a natural dark brown hackle. It's just an, an Indian uh, neck, a cock neck I have. Uh, so we tie this in. Take away the fluff. So you wax my thread here. Now you could put a quite a heavy, you could use saddle hackle here. You could do a quite a few things. It depends on what you want to do. I'm fishing this more as like a, I mean it is a, it can be fished as a dry if you want, but it's more a subsurface, it's more a, a, a top dropper type fly. Now what I'm doing here is just pulling the fibre through. I'm not going to go too long with the fibre, and then I'm just going to wind on that edge, and down. Now you could wind through some dubbing, which I've done before, like a hair's ear dubbing, like some a bit of UV or anything. Once you're happy with that. And then I'm just folding back the tip here, building up a nice, reasonable head. Just like, I'm going to draw this back. A nice shape, so there we are. Now the thing you can do as well, I mean, you could even put, I've put a wee bit of dubbing at the head area. It's up to yourself, but I'm just keeping it as it is, and that's fine. Um, then I'll whip finish. If I can find it on my desk, somewhere. Yeah. Right in front of me. So a quick quick finish and then coat of varnish or two. Uh, probably a couple of coats of varnish would do this one. So, so this is just a an upgrade for the old video. It's a bit grainy now and uh, sounds not very good. But anyway, there we are. And that's the Daddy Snatcher. And as I see, you can mess about with it. You can make it smaller, finer. Yeah, best if you're going to be tying it to the Daddy. This will give a reasonably uh, impression of the, the Daddy long legs, I say. And, uh, and it fits, you know, if you put that to there, you can see it fits within international rules. So it would be safe. So anyway, there we are. I hope you enjoyed that. And again, thanks for watching.